Yo, what it do, YouTube? You know who it is? It's your boy Rick Shea. Wait, that boy Ross. And I'm trying to get my stuff so I could go riding. But this bee won't leave me the hell alone. Like, what the fuck, bro? I'm trying not to kill you because you're one of God's creatures. Well, you keep messing with me, you're going... Mm -hmm. Yeah, anyway. I need y'all opinion on something. I posted up a couple pictures on Instagram not too long ago. And... I made some changes to the whip. And, uh... I don't know which one I like more. So I plastic dipped the wheels white, right? Ooh, that was almost a tongue twister, but I got it. And, uh... It's just a, you know, regular plastic dip brands, matte white, no glossifier at it. And I'm really digging this white. I need to get some center caps. But on the other side, oh, I did the emblem white too. Came out flawless. I like it. I did the other side black though. I don't know which one I like more. I need to get that fucking bumper fixed and that fender. Somebody hit my shit. I don't know when and where. I just know I came outside one day from the grocery store. And all of a sudden, I'm like, yo. Some look around with my car. Get up closer. It wasn't the bumper wasn't poking out like that at the time. But yeah, somebody straight hit my shit. Ain't leave no insurance papers or nothing. Like you muddy fuckers. Anyway, which one y'all like this? Oh, matter of fact, if y'all got a color suggestion for the original body color that'll go great with these wheels or with that color, let me know. I'm probably plastered at the whole car. Once I get that bumper fixed. And once I get my own house, because I ain't staying here no more. I'm going to be closing on a house here in less than a month. We're getting a house inspection tomorrow. And that shit's expensive. Anyway, I'm going to talk to y'all when I get on the road, because uh, I'm itching to ride. Damn, yo, it's like... What's today? Today is the 7th. No, today is the 8th. I didn't see like 10 cops in less than an hour. What the hell is going on? So yeah, anyway. I'm finna mm, hold up. Hey. All the chicks that be over here running. Oh no, nah, those some those some thoughts. Those some thoughts. Oh yeah, what was I saying? Oh yeah, I'm gonna go buy me some pants. So um, I don't know if y'all ever been to a army surplus store, but you know they sell military gear, new and used. No clothing, shoes. Uh, fucking actual like I don't know what they call a mask. Uh, it's not a not a it's, it's for your respiratory mask or something like some of you wear when you paint keep fumes out and all that shit. And this one actually sell ammo. <clears throat> and fucking anyway, I'm gonna go buy some pants because I bought the uh, the ACU pants, the digital camo, and oh my goodness, I bought them new. After I broke them in, those pants are so flipping comfortable. Like, I could... I could wear those in the winter and feel very little of a breeze. I could wear them when it's hot outside like it is now and still be comfortable. I'm not, you know, blazing in that motherfucker. So I'm finna go buy some more. And that was like, what, about $20? I could wear those year-round? Oh, hell yeah. I'm finna to rock the shit out of those. So I got the ACUs. I'm gonna see what other ones they got. I know, uh, what is the other one? BDUs? Battle dress uniform? I don't really like that camo pattern. I, I love the digital camo. Let's see about this V-cam. That nigga was... Black and ugly as a motherfucker. Black is beautiful, but I mean, like, bro, you can't be ugly and making ugly faces. Just saying. 
I don't know why I'm coming this way. I'm supposed to be taking the long way. Because I got a whole hour and 40 minutes before I got to clock in for work. And as a matter of fact, I wear those pants while I'm paintballing too. I ran it, I can't slide on them like I do the actual paintball pants because of the material. But still great to wear when you're paintballing. I mean, you know, I wouldn't deny her the dick, but she wouldn't, you know, exactly be the first one I'd run to to give it to. So, but yeah. Uh, for the, like, everybody that's on Instagram, keeping up with me on the regular, yo, I, I, I gladly and highly appreciate that. Uh, it's, it's like I get to know people that ain't even from here, and they get to know a little bit about me with the shit I be posting up, too. It ain't like we just following, we actually communicating, you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna put y'all names out there, y'all real names, but I'll put y'all names, y'all screen names and stuff up there. I wish I could post up more pictures, but a lot of the pictures that I be taking, you know, Instagram always cropping the shit out of your pictures, so you be missing the whole point of the picture sometimes. What's the speed limit on this street? 45? So, for those that's on Instagram following me, you know, one of my videos finally reached 100,000 views. And, you know, I, I would have never even thought one of my videos would have made it to, yeah, I'm like, yeah, what happened? I would have never even thought one of my videos would have made it to 100,000 views. And just, just, just over a year. And then, one of B. Weezy videos, or LSS Cino 25, one of his videos is like right on the borderline of 100,000 views. And it's a me doing wheelies. I'll post a link to his channel in that video. Now granted, when I was doing wheelies in that video, that was like when I just started doing wheelies. They sucked. But you know, I still got a lot of love from that video. A lot of haters too, but I mean, hey, the haters count as a view too, so we ain't gonna even knock them. Appreciate you watching haters. And uh, it was people commenting, talking about, you know, big bikes compensating for small anatomy and vice versa. We ain't gonna get on that subject, but you know, there's people commenting about a dude that just got a ZX-10. Granted, I want one too, but I'm keeping this motherfucker. Just got a ZX-10 <clears throat> and was bashing on the 300s and bashing on me saying I need to get a bigger bike and do some more wheelies. But there's people commenting saying, I don't, I don't even know if they subscribe to my channel or not. Maybe they just went through my videos and saw that I had bigger bikes. So it's like, you know, if you was actually aware, Ricochet, he had two 600s already, but was comfortable enough with himself to go ahead and go back to the smaller bikes and have more fun and enjoy riding. And you know, that's what it's all about. You don't need the motherfucking fastest bike out here, especially in the St. Louis area. Cause all we do, we on streets like this, speed limit 45, and as soon as we get across that intersection, speed limit go drop to 35. Other than that, you got 25 miles per hour on a regular suburban, or uh, regular street, side streets, and then 60 on uh, the highway. And if you go outside of St. Louis, the, the main St. Louis area, you get to 75 or 70 miles an hour. But I don't really be out there. I'm stuck in this area. I work at home, so I don't really got nowhere to commute to. So it's like, you know, this 300 is, yo, get the fuck off my ass, bro. What the hell? Speed limit finna drop anyway. You know this. You got Missouri plates. 
but I don't necessarily mean you know. But anyway. Oh yeah, you know, that, that put a good feeling in my heart though. Maybe when I actually get out here and, and do some more videos. And I would love to do more videos. Once I close on this house, I promise you, I'm going to have some more videos. Hey, hey, you was on my ass. You must want some of this ass. If you got a nice ass. Once I close on this house and get situated, I'm going to actually post some more videos. And wait till y'all see what I got coming for 300. Uh, I got to get a breaker bar. But yeah, I'm going to change it up. It ain't going to be no permanent changes. But there's going to be some changes that last for a while. And if I like one of the changes, I might just keep it like that. But you will see. You will see. It'll probably be on Instagram first because it's so much quicker and easier to upload to Instagram. got the charger. Blacked out lights. Oh, I cannot wait to get my fucking charger. I'm, I'm mainly, I love my imports. love my Japanese cars. German cars. Fucking love imports. But I rented a charger for the weekend to go visit my brother and my niece down in Tennessee. And man, as soon as I pulled off the lot, I just hit the accelerator a little bit and everything just felt just, just so smooth. I don't know if it was the V6 or just uh, all the meat on the tires, but damn it, it just, <clears throat> I don't know. But my Civic got meat on the tires too. Now nah, he don't know it's me. But uh, fucking, that, that mud just, it, it glides. And then it got great gas mileage on the highway too. I mean, my Civic, I'm getting roughly 35 on a good day. Or on a good tank. 35 miles a gallon. But in the Charger, I got 33 miles a gallon averaging on the highway. But it's a fucking inline four versus a V6. I don't get it. I could have had a V6 with way more power, more room. It's a full size car at that. And it just, it looks mean as hell. And that black, ooh. Don't let me get a white one and get a bumper guard or grill guard or whatever, you know, like the cops have. On that shit. You get one of those on the front. Oh! I wonder if that's, if that's considered impersonation. I don't know. Uh, I'm about to pass the damn store. Talking and shit. Yep. Transaction complete. Got my $20 pans. Bam. It's hot outside. But I don't even know it. Anyway, should I guess that wrap it up for the day? I'm finna get in and start this shift. Anyway, I appreciate y'all riding with me. As always, y'all take it easy. Deuces.